Hello, my name is Tom Davis and welcome to this short family history video on the origins of the Davis family from Port Rand, County Dublin, Ireland. I'm not a professional genealogist, but I have been researching my family history for more than 10 years now and have amassed a great deal of information about the Davis family. The purpose of this video is twofold. Firstly, to share that information with the wider family and secondly, to create a concise and accurate overview of the origins of the Davis family in the Port Ran area. Many branches of the Davis family have ended up further afield in central Dublin, the UK and the United States. But for the purposes of this video, I will just focus on the origins within Port Ran. So let's start by looking at some information about Port Ran itself. Portran is a small seaside village in North County Dublin on the east coast of Ireland. It's 23 kilometres from Dublin city centre and 3 kilometres from the inland town of Dunabase. Just offshore from Portran is Lambay Island, which was an important church establishment in ancient times, and Portran was its port of embarkation. Lambay Island's ancient name was Rikron, and its port consequently was Port Rikron, afterwards shortened to Port Ran. The earliest records relating to people living in Port Ran are contained in the Dunabate Roman Catholic Church records held in the National Library of Ireland. The records are now digitised and can be accessed on the National Library website. It is easy to find the records by clicking on the Dublin area of the Map of Ireland and then clicking on the Dun & Bate area. Records started on the 3rd of November 1760 for baptisms and on the 1st of February 1761 for marriages. There are no records of Davis baptisms or marriages until the marriage of an Anne Davis to Bartholomew Seagrave on the 3rd of March 1767. The next marriage of a Davis is that of James Davis to Mary Monaghan on the 8th of December 1771. The first Davis baptism occurred on the 23rd of December 1777 with the baptism of Mary Davis, daughter to James Davis and Mary Monaghan. From this point onwards the Davis family are featured regularly in the baptisms and marriages of the parish. Having analysed these records, I have identified four branches of the Davis family that existed in the Port Rand Dunabate area in the 1770s. These four branches were headed up by James Davis, Anthony Davis, Thomas Davis and William Davis. It is likely that these are four brothers, but they could also have been cousins, and as yet I have been unable to determine which is correct. Between the four branches, they had 12 children between 1777 and 1806, and these are shown on the diagram. I have also identified seven branches of the Davis family that existed in the Port Rand stroke Dunabay area in the 1800s. These branches were headed up by Nicholas Davis, Joseph Davis, William Davis, John Davis, Joseph Davis, Thomas Davis, and William Davis. As there are two Joseph Davis and two of William Davis, it is clear that we have a mix of brothers and cousins among these seven people. Between the seven branches, they had 52 children between 1832 and 1870, and were an established family in the Port Rand area. Unfortunately, the church records between 1808 and 1823 for baptisms and 1806 to 1869 for marriages are missing, and therefore it is impossible to forge links between the 1770s branches and the 1800s branches. The only tangible link I have found is of an Anthony Davis who married a Mary Flynn in or around 1800, and they had two children, Judy and Thomas. I believe that this Anthony is the son of Anthony Davis and Judith Brady, as the dates etc. match up, but I have no actual records to support this. Indeed, his son Thomas may be the same Thomas from Branch 6, but again, I have no proof of this. 
since there are no Davis family records in the period 1760 to 1777, a period of 17 years. It is very likely that the Davis family lived elsewhere prior to the 1770s. I have searched the surrounding parish records, but have not found any significant Davis family presence in any of them. My own grandfather told me that the Davis family originally came across from Wales, and I believe this is likely to have happened in the mid-1700s. This is an area of research that I have started to explore, and will keep the family updated if I find any tangible connection. There are many more stories of the Davis family both in Port Ran and elsewhere, and I will cover these in future videos. The complete Davis family tree is available on Ancestry.com, and while the information I've included is accurate as far as I know at this point, I would be very happy if anybody has additional information which will enhance the family history. Thank you for watching and please do watch out for future videos in this series. Bye for now. Slán lát.